quick video on how to use the bootstrapper. Um, so you just go to it in your app drawer. It's under D's for Droid X. Click it. Looks like this. Uh, you have two options. Top one is bootstrap recovery. Second one is reboot recovery. Press them in order. So you press bootstrap recovery. It's going to ask for super user permissions if you haven't given already. It says success. That means it's about to boot in the bootstrap. And you press reboot recovery, second option right there. Phone reboots. And it'll boot into the clockwork recovery thing it's called. Alright, that's what it looks like. If you see that, you are in the clear. To navigate the menu, you use the volume up and down buttons up here in the corner, just like that. And it's going to be really hard to read, so I'll just read it out to you. You have reboot system now, apply SD card update.zip, wipe da data, factory reset, wipe cache, install zip from SD card, backup and restore mounts and storage advanced. Um, for backup and restoring, you'll only be using the backup and restore menu, of course. Install zip from SD card is usually useful for ROM installation. Uh, mounts and storage is uh, useful for ROM installation as well. Sometimes you need to mount the system, or you can also use it to mount your SD card straight from the clockwork recovery if you don't want to go all the way into the system. Also, the back button on the bottom here navigates backwards. It's pretty self-explanatory. And the camera button is the OK button. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to mounts and storage. We're going to press camera, go in the next menu. You have, oh, excuse me, not mounts and storage. I meant back up in your store. You have two options, well three, backup, restore, and advanced restore. Now, you won't have any backups yet, so you're going to be pressing backup, and off it goes to make your Android backup. Now, if you wanted to restore that, pretty self-explanatory, navigate to backup and restore, then go to restore, and you'll see uh, the name of the .zip file that your backup is contained in. Um, it's usually named as a series of numbers corresponding to the date it was taken. But you can also go in and name it whatever you want. So you can say like 2.2 clean or 2.2 simply stunning, say, if you just install the simply stunning round.